Let's now move to models and semi-models. They offer multiple ways of giving advice. We have should and shouldn't, might, might not, must, mustn't, ought to, have to. These expressions vary in degree of intensity, just like the verbs in the imperative. Let's look at these examples. You have to avoid trans fat food. You must avoid trans fat food. You should avoid trans fat food. You ought to avoid trans fat food. And you might want to avoid trans fat food. If we look at the first one, we can see that's a strong advice. You have to avoid trans fat food. You have no other choice. It is similar to the use of stop in the previous slide. And then you must avoid also similar to have to. And then for should, we just want to say it's a good idea to avoid trans fat food. The same with ought to and also the same with might want to. But with might want to, there is an even lesser degree of intensity than with should and ought to. Again, what we see is as we go down our list of examples, the intensity also goes down. There are also other ways of giving examples and making what you say sound a little more polite and a little softer. The following formula can help you make your advice or recommendation sound less forceful and more polite. You can use should or shouldn't plus probably plus the base verb like in the examples here. You should probably exercise more often. It's good for your heart. Or you probably shouldn't drink so much coffee. It's not good for your baby. You can also use, as we saw in the previous slide, might plus want plus infinitive. Like you might want to cut on sugar, meaning you might want to eat less sugar. Sometimes we feel that the information we want to give is important. We want to emphasize it and we st want to still be polite in giving our advice or making recommendations. You can use it is important that like as in it is important that you follow this diet as strictly as possible. You can also use make sure you, etc. Like in the example, make sure you read the nutritional facts every time you buy canned food. You also can use don't forget or remember to. For example, you can say don't forget to exercise at least three times a week. Here also we see a difference in the degree of intensity. The last one is probably something a doctor would say to a patient at the end of the a visit, for example. So this concludes our presentation on the language of advice and recommendation. Thank you for being here and see you soon. Thanks, Pinta. That actually was really useful information. But I have a serious issue here. I've put on 10 pounds in the last year. I know it's hard to tell, but I have. 10 pounds is what? Like 6 kilos? 5 kilos? I always get confused. But it's, it's too much weight. So I'm wondering what I can do. What can I do?